peeps so I have a new journal to share with you that will be listed in my shop by the end of the day today um, it is your standard size traveler's notebook um, insert size and it is like a little spring with a little vintage mixed in um, so this is a actually a we are memory keepers uh, collection that I've had in my stash for a little while. Um, I bought this years ago when me and Melly went to Tuesday morning when I was in Cali. So um, I wanted to use up some of this paper. Um, yeah, so let's get started. It didn't come with any journal cards. It came with um, some stickers that I will... Um, I added a couple, but not a lot because most of the stickers are like sentiment type of stickers. So I'm going to put those in the goodie bag and then the person, um, if someone buys it, um, can use it as they wish or on another project. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So I have this pretty lace yellow um, ribbon and I have two little charms. One is a rose and one is just a little bling. Let's see if I can get it in the camera. Hopefully that focused well. And then I got this cute little pom-pom trim that I adhered to the side. And underneath is just a little piece of lace. I love this these flowers and the colors and everything. So I didn't want to cover it up too much. So I think I showed you that's the back. So inside... Because it didn't have journal cards, I went in my stash and pulled out a few. So we have this one that you can journal on. This is a sticker from the paper collection. I don't remember the paper collection, the name of it. Um, I did add some of Tsunami Rose lime papers in here to give it that distressed look. Because as you can see, the paper, this is all from the paper, this distressed look. So. I thought putting a little coffee dye paper and some distressed paper added to the collection. It also came with like a textured cardstock, so I added a couple of sheets of that in there so you can actually journal on this as well. So here's some coffee dye paper. I used my die cut and made a little tuck spot here, and then of course let me take this out. And so, of course, you can tuck it on both sides. So, it's a double little tuck. <clears throat> and so, this paper has some lines, so you can actually journal on that as well. And the paper quality is really heavy. It's, it's a real sturdy paper. Um, I added um, a page from my rose book. I made a um, pocket with it actually. So I have a little journal card in here. I did distress um, the edges with some vintage photo. Well, ink, not <laughs> distress, ink the edges with some vintage photo. Yeah, so like I was saying, the paperweight is really, really, um, really nice quality. It's really thick. It's another journal card. It's a little tuck spot. I put a little washi tape on this little envelope here. And in the envelope is just a little die cut that you could journal on. Actually, that's the same pattern. Maybe I'll swap that out for a different one. Another um, texture card stock that you can journal on. Oh, I didn't. I should have saved this out. So this is another sticker and I just put it on top of a die cut and so this is a tuck spot and 
Here's another pocket, the other side of the pocket rather, of that rose paper. This is actually a tuck spot as well. It's a really small tuck. So, I'll put that back later. Where was I? Dye paper here, tsunami rose paper. This is a border sticker from the collection, and I um, kind of took off the stickiness of it. It was a sticker. Did I say that? I don't even know. <laughs> and I just glued just the side of it to make it a tuck spot for this. So you can tuck underneath the whole thing. And then there's the other side of the Tsunami Rose paper. And then here's the back pocket with the little journal card. So that is it. That is my little um, journal for today. I am working on a couple more that will probably be listed uh, this week. So that is it. I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.